Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm excited. I'm finally getting my first ultrasound done. Um, with COVID, it's all been kind of weird. So I'm actually 12 weeks pregnant right now. And I have had a doctor's appointment before this, but it was like a telehealth visit and it was at eight weeks. It kind of sucks that I've had to wait so long to check on baby and make sure things are going good, but I'm glad that I finally get to do that today. Like I said, I'm 12 weeks pregnant. I'm also going to have uh, just a regular like checkup with my OB and then I'm also going to do some blood tests, I think. So, super excited to get an update on baby and how things are growing and looking, but yeah, it's super weird that I've had to wait. 12 weeks almost I'm almost 13 weeks now to like make sure everything is good so I think that this is gonna help me put like my mind at ease so I don't have to like worry all the time anymore I'm not like worried all the time but you just don't know that things are okay because I haven't had a checkup or an ultrasound yet so super excited to do that today I'm gonna try to record it I'm gonna ask if I can um, Jamie is not going to be with me because of COVID. They don't allow kids in there and unfortunately we don't have anyone to watch our kids today so he is not going to be able to make it to this one but fingers crossed that he can go to the next one. He would only be able to go into the ultrasound anyway. They weren't going to let him um, go with me to like my like checkup afterwards so he would have to like leave anyway. So it kind of just works out. Um, that is just me today, um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to record it so that I can show you guys and then also so I can show him um, I could FaceTime him, but He's driving he met me here from work So we live about 40 minutes away. So he's gonna be driving by the time I'm in my ultrasound anyway, so it wouldn't work out um, So yeah, I'm gonna try to record it. Hopefully they let me fingers crossed We've all kind of been feeling under the weather for the past like week or so. I've been feeling better for like days now, but Jamie and the boys were really sick for a while there. So I know I've been a little absent, but we've just kind of been taking it easy and trying to get better and rest and all of that. So, um, and I've also been really sick, which I am starting to feel better now, but uh, the nausea was like on another level this time so but I actually didn't throw up I've thrown up in both of my other pregnancies and I didn't throw up this time so hoping that I don't throw up I think my nausea is pretty much gone now so hoping it stays that way and hoping everything goes good at the appointment so I'm gonna head in there now because I don't want to be late and I will try to record some things for you guys and then I will check in when everything is done and I will let you guys know how it went. So, yeah. Let me feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles Screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to Okay guys, we are back from my ultrasound and my appointment and everything went good. Um, they did not let me record in the ultrasound unfortunately, but I do have some pictures that I can, sorry, that I can show you guys. Um, baby's looking good. It was like so cute. Baby was like bouncing around. Um, kind of like looked like a fish out of water, which was funny, but um, here's one. And we also got a picture of the face. Um, so it's kind of, it's like obviously the skull, but that's the face. Super, um, honestly kind of creepy, but um, so cool to see. And then here's just like an up close shot of the profile. So yeah, so everything is looking good. Um, today I am 12 weeks and four days um, and I am measuring 13 weeks. So I'm um, measuring a little bit ahead, but if it's not like a week more or less, 
um, they don't change your due date. So I'm still due February 25th and saw baby's heartbeat. Heartbeat was at 155 beats per minute, which is good. Kind of makes me think it might be a girl though because both of my boys had heartbeats that were like 166. Um, so who knows? I don't know, but I'm thinking about doing the sneak peek test to find out the gender early um, because my 20 week anatomy scan is going to be sometime in October and um, I'm not sure that I can wait that long. So I'm thinking about doing sneak peek. So let me know down below if you guys have done sneak peek and um, if you guys liked it. I just, uh, I think we'll still do a gender reveal, but I'm kind of wanting to do it at my son's um, fourth birthday party, which is in September, just cause like all of our family will be there anyway. And I just feel like it's a good time to do it since everyone will be there. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys have done that. Usually I have the doctor's office like do the genetic test but I didn't do that this time because my insurance doesn't cover it. And it's gonna be like 300 bucks. And to be honest, I could spend $300 on something else much more important. Cause I can find out the gender with the sneak peek test for like 70 bucks or like a hundred. And the only benefit to the one at the doctor's office is that it tests for like genetic abnormalities. And that wouldn't change our mind either way of whether we were gonna keep this pregnancy um, or like terminate it. So there's really no sense in like knowing that information and paying that money for that just cause it wouldn't make a difference for us. So yeah, so that's where I'm at. I, I did talk to my doctor um, because my heart rate is so high. I, my watch tells me my heart rate and my heart rate is constantly over a hundred beats per minute. And um, normally my resting rate is like 68, I wanna say when I'm not pregnant. Um, so I was just kind of like concerned that it was a little high. I know that like normal pregnancies, your your heart rate can go up like 20 beats per minute and that's normal. Um, but with it just like always being over a hundred, sometimes I'm not even doing anything. It's like 120. And she said that's normal. I think she said like right now our body or like my body is pumping like 40% more than its normal blood volume don't come for me if that's wrong, but something to do with like 40% more because of the baby. So your, um, your body and your heart like getting used to it. And that's why they recommend like younger people to have babies. Cause when you're older, it takes a lot more work for your heart to pump that. <laughs> so, um, totally makes sense to me, but I had no idea. So yeah, but I am starving. Um, I was literally there for like two hours and I got there like 30 minutes early. So I've been here for like two and a half hours. And um, that's one thing with this pregnancy is like, I cannot go longer than an hour without eating something. So I'm just feeling so hungry and shaky. So I'm about to head home. I've got like a 40 minute drive now. So I'm gonna stop by Starbucks and like pick up a breakfast sandwich, I think just cause it's quick. And then I'm gonna head home and make some dinner. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and um, I'm just glad that everything turned out good. Do what we want to, do what we need to do.